Hi, my name is Brad Browning and I'm a relationship coach and breakup expert. This video will give you some tips and advice on how to get over your ex and get on with your life as quickly as possible. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I usually talk about how to get your ex back. And this video definitely still applies to those who want their ex back, but it's also relevant for anyone who just wants to move on and find someone new. So let's uh, dive into it. To begin with, I need to give you a bit of unfortunate news, and that's that all breakups, regardless of the circumstances, are painful to some degree. There's really no magic solution or quick fix that will make your heartache disappear you know, overnight. There are, however, a few things you can do to help suppress the post-breakup emotions and to help you uh, get over your ex as quickly as possible. The first step is to accept the reality of your situation. It's not helpful or productive to deny the reality that you and your partner are no longer together. Um, nor is it going to do you any good to, to try and talk things over with your ex and work it out. Uh, instead, at this point, try to own up to the situation that you're faced with and just accept that your ex is no longer a, a focal point of your life. Accepting that, I know, can be painful and difficult, but now is the time to let out your emotions and come to grips with life as it stands now that the relationship has ended. Don't be afraid to, you know, do a bit of crying or spend some time alone in the first few days after the breakup, especially if it, if it helps you accept the reality of what's happened. But you should also do your very best to avoid having these emotional breakdowns while your ex is present or, in or around you. So you don't want to break down in front of them. And in fact, during these early stages, it's not a good idea to speak to your ex at all, to be honest. Um, in particular, you definitely want to avoid begging, pleading, apologizing, um, and generally just trying to talk your way into convincing them to attempt to you know, reverse the decision or, or whether you're looking for closure, whatever it may be. I don't recommend talking to your ex for a while after the breakup. Uh, many people will try um, in the weeks after the breakup to search for answers, trying to learn what they did wrong or why their ex decided to end things, um, which is not the right thing to do, especially in the first few days after your breakup. Uh, instead, you, you and your ex um, should go your separate ways for now, and you should try to get control of your emotions and accept the reality without looking for answers or asking yourself, you know, what if, what should I have done differently? So you can do that later. Um, this is not the time or the early phases after the breakup. And by the way, if you're not ready to let go and you're hoping to get back together with your ex, then now is, a, is a probably a good time to tell you about my free quiz tool. Um, I've created a quiz tool on my website that will help you figure out whether or not your ex will take you back and what your odds of success are at basically rekindling the romance. Um, it only takes about five minutes to complete. You can try it out for yourself at uh, www.breakupbrad.com quiz. And I'll have that link in the description below the video as well. Now, moving on, um, once you've come to grips with the reality of your situation, it's time to remove all visible reminders of your ex. There's nothing worse than being reminded of a painful memory every time you walk into your bedroom or, you know, enter the house, which is why one of the most, most important things and ways to move on is to remove all visible reminders around your house and, and just generally out of your life. So that means take down photos, the love notes, uh, put away the gifts that your ex gave you, and just generally a store and, in a, you know, safe and far away place, uh, any items that might remind you of your past relationship and just leave them there until you're ready to open it again and to, to face that. Uh, eventually um, you can, like I said, open them up, but only after you're fully moved on. Right now you just don't want to be reminded of your ex at all, so anything that could possibly remind you of them should be you know, out of sight. Um, you should also make sure that you hide or mute your ex's status updates on you know, social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Uh, that'll make sure you're not reminded of your ex every time you log in and look at your news feed. You don't want to be, you know, seeing what he or she is up to uh, every time you log on to Facebook. Um, and I don't actually recommend deleting or blocking your ex completely. It's usually enough just to hide their status updates and their posts from your news feed, and then you don't have to see those every time you log in. And if you're really struggling with uh, self-control and you can't seem to stop yourself from texting or calling your ex, I also recommend writing down your ex's phone number on a piece of paper and giving it to a friend and then just deleting it from your phone completely. Um, you don't need to contact your ex right now, like I said, and deleting your ex's info, contact info from your contacts list is a really good way to make sure that you don't do something dumb, send them a message you're gonna regret, and so on. And now with all the reminders of your ex completely removed from your life, the next step is to stay busy and keep yourself occupied at all times. If you sit around the house doing nothing, you're giving yourself a chance to think things over and bring you know, undue heartache upon yourself. So it's best just to keep busy with work, school, hobbies, any other activities basically that you can keep your attention focused on uh, and basically keep your mind off your ex. So just stay busy, you know, even if it's just watching your favorite TV show, playing video games, take your mind off the breakup, and whatever you need to do, just stay busy so you're not thinking about it all the time. You should also lean on your friends and family at this point. 
Um, try to avo avoid being alone whenever you can. You don't want to be, you know, have alone time to sit around and think about your ex. So go out with friends, spend time with your family. Even if it's the last thing you feel like doing, just go out and do it. Trust me when I say that, that being social and just getting out there with your friends and your family is one of the best and most effective ways of getting over the breakup. It's also important during all this that you continue to maintain healthy lifestyle habits. Um, scientists have proven that vigorous exercise produces those feel-good chemicals like uh, serotonin and dopamine in your brain. And so basically, you know, any intense workout, 30 to 60 minutes, a um, couple times a week, can help you avoid depression and generally feel better about life. So just maintain healthy exercise, healthy eating habits, and just take care of yourself so you don't add any extra stresses on your body or your, or your mind. All of those things will help speed up the process and minimize your heartache. But I should also mention that the best way to recover from a breakup is to find someone new. Now, I realize at this point you're probably not really interested in going out on dates and, and you know, going out and meeting members of the opposite sex. But if you could force yourself to, to just get out there and start dating again, you'll be doing yourself a big favor. And you'll find that the breakup emotions completely disappear once you find a new guy or girl to replace your ex. I promise that will happen. It always does. Uh, so as soon as you can stomach it, get out there and start meeting people and going on dates, even if it's not really what you feel like doing. Uh, online dating is a great way to start, so you know, consider signing up for a few free dating sites as soon as you're ready and uh, just start meeting people and get out there. Now, if you do happen to talk with your ex, either on purpose or as a result of an accidental encounter, try to stay positive and keep things cordial. Um, you know, even if your breakup was nasty and you hate your ex's guts, starting a fight or being mean to them and trying to get even, it's just not going to help you feel any better and it usually leads to, quite frankly, more problems than, than solutions and just generally drags out your, your recovery process. Again, I recommend ignoring your ex completely and avoiding any non-essential contact with him or her until you're fully over the breakup. And finally, if you find yourself struggling with depression and heartache, even after you've done all the things I've talked about in this video, try to remember that every day that passes is another step towards a full recovery. So you may not feel any better today than you did a week ago, but I can promise that in a month or two you'll look back and realize that each day you spent a little bit less time thinking about your ex. And sooner than later you'll be back to normal and completely over your ex. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please use the comments section below and I'll do my best to respond to you personally. And finally, please take a moment to click the like button below this video uh, if you found it helpful. And if you want more advice on recovering from your breakup or winning back your ex's heart, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube for more videos like this one. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.